Hello everyone and welcome back to another mailbag episode. We didn't get many questions this month, but we do have two really good ones from a pair of anonymous viewers. Sis, would you like to do the honors? Sure, Chloe, I'd love to. Our first anonymous question comes from Google+. Our viewer asks, is getting the AMD RX 480 graphics card a good idea? If you cannot afford a GTX 1080 then the answer is definitely yes. The RX 480 is a budget-priced graphics card, which delivers the performance of last generation's more expensive high-end cards. Benchmarks have shown the 480 is comparable in performance to the GTX 970, and close to the GTX 1080 with two cards in Crossfire. At $199 for the 4GB version, and $299 for the 8GB version they are a great value. Especially if you consider this is a $200 graphics card made for using virtual reality headsets. So, again, if you are a PC gamer on a budget by NRX 480, get the 4GB version for 1080p gaming, and the 8GB version for 1440p and Ultra HD gaming. Back to you, sis. Thank you, sis. Our second question comes from a forum, and I have Avery Gamer here to give us an answer. The question, Avery, is what will happen to AMD now that some reviews have shown the RX 480 is not entirely compliant with the specifications of PCI Express? Thank you, Chloe. What is at issue here is that some reviews of the RX 480 say the graphics card draws more power from the PCI Express bus than what is in the official PCI Express specifications. The short answer is nothing. Nothing. Absolutely not a thing. The specifications for PCI Express are maintained by an organization called PCI SIG. They test new devices to ensure they work with the PCI Express standard. But they do not enforce the PCI Express specifications. A few years ago, Aran Tech asked about this in an article concerning the AMD Radeon 6990 graphics card. Again, it was about the same issue in question. After talking to AMD and PCI SIG the answer they got was the same. In order to encourage, rather than discourage, innovation PCI SIG does not strictly enforce the PCI Express spec. Their testing ensures devices work on PCI Express, and if they exceed the specifications they don't really care. But, in their latest tech talk, Jerry Barnacle said the ITC could ban the importation of RX 480 cards for not following the PCI Express spec, and they aren't the only ones saying this. No. As I said, PCI SIG doesn't enforce this spec, so nothing will happen to MD. Also, many of NVIDIA's graphics cards pull more power from the bus when overclocked, and you don't see an army of lawyers going after NVIDIA. What about what was also said, that pulling more power from the bus could damage the motherboard? As I said, other graphics cards do this too, and unless you have a really bargain basement motherboard you should have no problems. Avery. Thank you for clearing that up for us. No problem, Chloe. I was glad to be here. A few moments later. Well, this has been a shorter than expected episode. We found out today that the AMD RX 480 graphics card is a good buy for gamers on a budget. We also found that the whole PCI Express power controversy was much to do about nothing. The problem and its consequences are being massively overstated. And now for something very important. The mailbag episode depends on input from you, the community. So, please, if you have questions for next month's show submit them either via the comment section below, the Gamers Bay thread for this episode, or the Twitter handle in the video description along with the hashtag mailbag. Until next time, I've been your host Chloe Nightshade. Goodbye, and I'll see you in next week's episode.
你吧。